Hello students. Let's wait. We are going to be live. Can you all see me? Yes, we are live. Hello students, welcome to An Academy Neat English channel. I am Ms. Gopika, your biology educator. Okay, so we have been doing plant growth and development chapter. So we are coming, we cannot say till the end, but yeah, we are almost coming to the end of the chapter. Okay, so all of you quickly let me know if there is any disturbance in my voice. You can clearly see me, hear me. Did you share with your friends? Everything, your daily rituals has to be done. Yes, quickly let me know in the chat box. Am um, I visible, clearly audible? Yes, good afternoon. Students, quickly share the link with your friends. This is not the number we expect, right? This is not the number we expect. We expect a lot of them, right? We always expect a lot of them. So, quickly share the link with your friends. Yes, okay, clearly visible and audible. Okay, students, so we were doing plant growth and development and you know it is one of the very important chapters of plant physiology, right? We can expect at least 5 to 6 questions from this chapter. So, it is having a weightage of 20 to 24 marks, right? Which is something that you can never lose because, you know, 20 to 24 marks for a neat aspirant, even 1 mark matters, even 4 marks matters, right? Yes, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. You want PDF of added topics, okay? Pankuri ma'am has done a video. You can check that video, dear sweetie. Yes. Okay, shall we start the class? So, last class we did about auxin. So, in that uh, when I spoke about the psychological role, I missed out or I wanted to add one more, a little more explanation about that. So, we will start from there and then we will continue for the rest of it. Okay, we will continue for the rest of it. I am not sure if I will be able to complete the chapter today because photoperiodism, there is a lot for you to, for me to explain for all of you. Okay. And I don't want to, you know, rush and finish it. So, maybe we will go for one more session of this chapter, but let's try to complete as much as possible. Clear to all of you? Okay. Yes. Are you all ready? Notebooks opened? Did you like the session and let me know your attendance? Did you all like the session? If you like the session only, I'll know that, oh, the student has attended my class. Yes, attended. Yes, great. Okay, students, so as we know that we are all nearing to need, right? We were, uh, when I think when I started, we were telling six months is there, six months, seven months is there, no? Now we have come to five months and number is almost coming to an end. So we are getting closer to need, right? So if you are planning that, okay, ma'am, I don't think I'm going to be able to write need this year, right? Okay. Uh, photoperiodism is deleted, but I just wanted to give you people a little idea about it. Like just the long day plant, what a short day plant, because these terms are coming in your, uh, what to tell, in the hormones, not like a longer explanation. Just wanted to give you a little idea about it. Okay, that's all. Okay. Yes, photoperiodism is deleted. Photoperiodism is deleted. So, we are not going to do in depth. I am just trying to say you, I need to give you a little explanation because why? Because these things sometimes come in hormones. Okay, they are, the words are being used in hormones. Clear? Not like a longer explanation. Okay, not the whole chapter. Just some explanations which I feel like might be necessary and it's okay to know a little, right? It's okay to know a little. Okay, students. So, we have our quota stop educators, you know, the batch is getting launched, okay, batch starts on November 30th. So, if you're feeling like, ma'am, I need some more other than YouTube, I need some more, you know, uh, better understanding of the subject or you know, I want in depth or I want with a lot of experience of, you know, educators, then this is the right batch for you because I'll tell you, all these teachers are expert, expert and they have a long years of experience, 7, 8, 10, 11 years of experience. So, if you're thinking that, no, ma'am, I need some more push because I, my only aim is to join AIMS and I do not want to settle for any other place. Please do, do join this batch because this is the right batch for you. So, you can look at the prices. If you want to be only a part of the batch, your prices are this, okay, 15,000 or say 16,000. And if you want like for the next year, right, for the 2025, if you want to do it, this is the prices. And for 
if you want iconic the same thing for the next year you want iconic now iconic you will get proper notes you will get handwritten notes from the educators mock papers even this you will get mock papers but here it will be uh, you know you will get all the notes in your hand okay and flash cards so this will be the price so if you feel like no i need the top educators please go for this batch because they have mentored so many people who are of these ranks right okay air 14 41 54 80 and so on okay and students if you still are planning to do, join your uaits do join okay these are the prices i have already mentioned i have already posted on the community page as well okay and your 50% off if you use the code gopika other than this okay other than these prices you are going to get more discounts okay so make your decision wisely because every minute of your life is very very important okay yes your my telegram link is there shiva kumar all are, all the teachers are there on this channel what happened why you what happened when i am here you keep asking about other educators you're not happy seeing me all of them are here don't worry why you worry okay okay students so let's start so i told you when i was speaking about oxen no i wanted to i mainly mentioned about one thing called as your epical dominance right epical dominance how many of you remember what is epical dominance epical dominance how many of you remember what is epical dominance what is happening in epical dominance there is a plant right there is going to be an epical bud there is going to be an epical bud right this epical bud is growing is very happy but because of the presence of oxen right because of the presence of oxen what is happening this you know only the epical bud is allowed to grow the lateral buds are not allowed to grow or the axillary buds are not allowed to grow is this okay for us it's not okay for us right because the only the plant is elongating only epical region is developing or the epical you know uh, what is that bud is developing no lateral buds are developing is it okay is it okay not okay right so this is shown by oxen so oxen shows epical dominance this is the reason why if you go to see coffee plantation or tea plantation you can see all the plants are really this much height right all of you have seen a coffee plantation coffee plantation thank you shiva kumar coffee plantation uh, tea plantation you can see all the plants are like this much and have you seen how they pluck the teas right they pick on the top right on the epical region they pick why so that lateral growth can happen so lateral growth can happen by picking up like this the farmers are making sure that the apical dominance does not continue right because if apical dominance continue only the length of the plant is growing lateral side nothing is growing it's a loss for them so they are tip cut you know they are removing the tip of the plant is this clear to all of you okay so this apical dominance has provide growth for the apical buds and suppresses the growth of the lateral buds okay promotes the growth of apical buds and suppress the growth of lateral buds clear to all of you yes the next point is very important okay vishnu okay next point is very important students it it does obsession it also inhibits obsession now why did i say that it inhibits obsession in younger plants right but it promotes obsession in plants which are old mature the leaves are not doing any job they'll be like why to keep them right why to keep them let's just remove them so it is in a positive way it is in a positive way it does obsession this i discussed in the last class now what i want to discuss in depth is about the weed side it is used as a weed side now can any of you tell me how it is used as a weed side can any of you think of any way that it could be used as a weed side yes no <clears throat> tell me can it be used as a weed side and this comes under the main commercial use okay this is a commercial use So, in why it is used as a weed side, I'll tell you because it can do defoliation. Now, what do I mean by defoliation? Now, if I spray, right? If I spray oxen, okay? If I spray uh, your oxen, or I mean, if I spray that, what is going to happen? 
disease resistant okay students if i spray auxin no what is going to happen imagine you have a rice paddy you are a farmer okay you are all a farmer in this a uh, whole class you are a farmer and you have a rice paddy between the rice paddy you are able to see some unwanted dicot plants now when you are spraying a weedy side you expect that the weed the rice does not get affected right you expect that whatever i am cultivating should not get affected so this auxin or uh, acts as a weed side by defoliating that means to remove the leaves of the dicot okay so it does defoliation and it has a very very important uh, you know characteristic that is it has a narrow spectrum it has a narrow spectrum because it has a narrow spectrum it is more specific right it is more specific are you all understanding defoliation means it's going to remove the leaves right so now the dicot plant cannot do photosynthesis automatically it's going to die correct do you understand the uh, pattern so the leaf will be removed it will not be able to do photosynthesis the plant will die now as a farmer you're happy why because your rice paddy nothing happened to your rice paddy because it has a narrow spectrum right it is very focused it's like okay i have come here to kill dicot i'm only going to do that i'm not going to bother about the monocots which are standing around yes sir no clear clear now who has the narrow spectrum your 24d has a narrow spectrum okay your 24d has a narrow spectrum so it is used as a weed side and it has a high commercial value okay high commercial value okay clear fine then i told you it induces parthenocarpy because we do not like eating watermelon which you know if the seeds keep annoying right whenever you are trying to enjoy the watermelon there will be a seed that you cannot bite you don't want to spit right so it is in a very confused state so this auxin will induce parthenocarpy where the seeds are completely removed clear so these are the things so this is one thing i wanted to mention very specifically because this was used during a war of us and vietnam it was called as agent orange so i will not write it about it but yes what is happening this it was used as a weed side right so they sp sprayed auxin the us sprayed auxin on the plants which were there in the vietnam because vietnam had a very bushy greeny uh, you know very nice beautiful landscape so because of that they were not able to see where the soldiers were hiding or where the you know people were hiding so what did they do they used this defoliation technique to make sure that all the leaves die so that they were able to see the soldiers but still usa did not win the game so <laughs> that's why i'm not mentioning okay it's not required just just a history class okay is this clear to all of you is this clear to all of you <clears throat> abscission is basically falling leaf falling right fall of leaf okay so it is not only the mature leaf will be removed by oxygen okay very mature old leaf whose color has gone chloroplast would have degenerated all those will be removed okay young leaves will never be removed okay clear now let's go to the next one what is our next one gibberellic acid or gibberellin okay this is like a tongue twister for me because the name is very 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 fancy right okay so this gibberellin or gibberellic acid we will start with the chemical name what is the chemical name because in your textbook there is a paragraph given right so in that brackets have been given so that's why i'm writing it down okay okay chemical name what is the chemical name terpenes or terpenoids yes mentioned in your textbook all of you have opened your textbook and saw check if it's correct terpenes and terpenoids okay and who acts like a precursor who acts like a precursor for this for this um, who acts like a precursor acetyl coa acetyl coa acts as a precursor okay got it all of you where have we seen acetyl coa we have seen it in respiration remember we saw it in our uh, common entrant to krebs cycle correct how many of you have watched my respiration one shot photosynthesis one shot on special class students whatever in case i'm missing it here like one portion i'm not able to take because i'm not able to schedule or something due to some issues i'm not able to take a class here i will definitely complete that portion in the special class okay because i told you youtube and special class goes simultaneously 
spontaneously. It's not like, oh, I have to complete everything on YouTube, then only go to special class, nothing like that. If I feel like, okay, today I can take a special class, I will definitely take it on special class because I don't want to waste your time, right? You have to wait here. Other teachers also will be there. So, you know, so there it's a more, I like the medium there because I can communicate on a more closer, you know, version. That's why, okay? Clear? So, precursor is acetyl CoA. Now, discovery. How was the discovery happened? Okay. How did the discovery happen? All of you look at your textbook and tell me who was the scientist who discovered it? Who was the scientist who discovered it? Tell who was the scientist who discovered it? It, it was Japan. Okay. Now, from, from all tea plantation, we are moving to Japan. Okay. It is Kuros. Okay, Kurosawa. Okay, Kurosawa. Kurosawa was the person who found out this gibril. Okay, what is happening? So, in, uh, you know, now again, you are a farmer. Okay, you are a farmer. So, you are growing rice. Okay, you are growing, growing rice. You are a farmer with enough of rice pad paddy field. Okay, now what happened? You saw that this rice is elongating, elongating, like the stem is continuously elongating and they are falling down. They are falling down. Okay. So, as a person, like as a farmer, you will feel bad, right? Because all of the seeds are getting wasted, right? The plants are growing in length and they do not have girth because they are monocot, right? So, what is happening? They are falling down. They are continuously falling down. Because of it, you are getting nervous. You are getting tense, like what is happening? And also, the seeds that are formed were sterile. The seeds that were formed were sterile, okay? So, what and all happened? Stem elongation was happening, okay? Stem was getting elongated. Okay, lodging was happening and the seeds formed were sterile. Now, what did everyone think? Uh, normally, a farmer, you will think which among this has a problem? I will think seed has a problem, right? I will be like, oh, the seed that I got, the seed that I cultivated, that is the problem, okay? Later, later they found out that the seed did not have a problem actually the seed was infected the seed was infected the seed was infected with whom seed was infected with a fungus okay the seed was infected okay with a fungus okay seed was infected with a fungus okay good afternoon some of you have joined late infected okay seed was infected with the fungus can anyone tell me the fungus name yes very good very good gibberella fujikyori okay it was the fungus wait gibberella Fuji, right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Jibberella. K O R A I. Okay. K O R A I. Yes. Okay. Got it. So, they found out that the seed did not have a problem. Actually, the seed was infected with something that was gibberella. The seed was infected with a fungus called gibberella, which was actually releasing gibberellin for the stem elongation. So, did you understand the cycle what is happening? Because the stem was continuously elongating, that is because of which the rice was not able to stay, it was falling down, right? Imagine a person just so tall, but no body weight, like no body mass index. What is going to happen? that person is going to start, you know, bending, right? Start bending. So, the same way, this rice field was falling because this was releasing something called as gibberellin or gibberellic acid, okay? That was helping for stem elongation. Clear to all of you? Clear to all of you? Yes, no, clear? What happened? Right. 
okay, gibberellin which was helping for stem elongation. Yes. Okay. K U R O I K O R A R A I correct. Okay. U and uh, O is not a problem. Okay. You can write here U O. So this. Okay. Here it is updated spelling. Okay. Clear. Yes. This is my K. Which has become like an F. Okay, so let's quickly try to understand what has happened. The rice paddy fields were elongating. That means the rice was elongating and continuously falling down, and the uh, seed which was formed was sterile. Normally, like you people, we are all farmers, so we and we thought, okay, the seed that we got was the problem. But later they found out that that is uh, your Kurosawa understood that it was not that problem. Inside the seed, there was some infection which was caused by a fungus called gibberella. Now this gibberella was releasing gibberellin, which was causing for stem elongation. Clear to all of you? Clear to all of you? Yes. <coughs> So, there are more than, okay, more than hundreds of GA, okay, GA that means your gibberellic acid, but out of it, G3, GA3, okay, out of which, students, one second, I am. <laughs> one second, okay, this is not moving. Okay, out of that your G A three, okay, G A three was the G A three was the first isolated and the most extensively studied. Okay, first isolated and the most extensively studied. First isolated. Clear? Very important from your MCQ point of view. Okay, GA3 that is your gibberellic acid 3. There are more than 100 out of which the third one was the first isolated and the mostly studied one. Clear? Clear? Yes or no? Okay, just looking at this, how many of you can tell me the function? How many of you can tell me the function of your gibberellic acid? Gibberellic acid, how many can tell the function? Quickly let me know. Function. What is the function? What it would be doing? Okay. What it would be doing? Students, isolation was by Yabuta and Sumuki. Yabuta and Sumuki were the people who isolated this. Okay. It might sound like, you know, those uh, WWE fighters, but they are two scientists who found or isolated. Okay. I think I will one second students. <coughs> yes, successful. Okay, so they isolated. Okay, they isolated. Was isolated by who? Yabuta and Sumuki. These two people isolated it. So, students tell me what is the difference between discovery and isolation. See, uh, when you say about discovery, okay, they found out that this is there. Okay, isolation means they have to extract, right? Isolation, extraction is the same word. So, extracting something is different. I can say, okay, I saw in the seed gibberella, but did I extract it? Did I do anything with it? No. I just found it out. I discovered, oh, something is like this there. But who is going to extract? So, that is so isolated by Yabuta and Sumuki. Is it easy to remember their name? Okay. They extracted or isolated your gibberellin from your gibberella fujikore. Okay. Clear? Now, when we talk about your, what to tell you, about your gibberellin, we have to know about their function. Okay. So, understand when a seed, right, when a monocot seed is there, Say this is a monocot seed. Okay. You have your endosperm. Right? Endosperm is there. Now, students, when they noticed this, okay, when they were finding out this uh, what is the function and everything, they noticed this endosperm is sending a signal to the aluron layer telling that you release, 
okay you release an enzyme okay so what is happening your this is your endosperm your endosperm has gibberellin okay this endosperm is sending sending information to your aileron layer i am writing a layer telling that you release an enzyme okay that enzyme will be called as your alpha amylase okay it is going to release an enzyme called as alpha amylase this alpha amylase will convert starch into glucose we all know what is the function of amylase right is there any student who doesn't know function of amylase yes yes all of you are putting the function good job but i would like all of you to understand this this is also known as bioassay that means in what concentration is something doing the job right at what concentration we know that when we speak about anything when we specially speak about you know your uh, plant growth regulators or your enzymes or hormones everything there is a peak at which they will function well like we have seen in chlorophyll also chlorophyll a b you know xanthophyll all of them have a proper wavelength that they'll do concentration right so when they were trying to find out that they notice something like this happening okay so what is there in endosperm gibberellin is there that is going to give a signal to the aileron layer this you have studied in monocot okay the seed right aileron layer to release an enzyme so that enzyme is your alpha amylase alpha amylase is going to do what convert starch into glucose okay the moment glucose is released it will start seed germination it will start seed germination so we found out two functions from two kinds of uh, finding what is that first we understood there was stem elongation was done by this now we also understood that seed germination can take this is this clear to all of you anyone has a confusion in this what did ma'am try to say what did ma'am try to say yes or no <coughs> yes or no do you want me to write the bioassay's name also it is not mentioned in your textbook okay bioassay's name is alpha amylase students all of you know badly all of you know badly yes or no when we have you know when we have very bad abdominal pain or when we have a very bad you know uti people tell drink barley water how many of you have seen barley nihal i am a mallu he's asking any mallus here you're taking census sir i am a mallu so take my count okay one attendance okay <clears throat> clear is this clear not clear bioassay for auxin is your avena that is your oats okay oats curvature test that means they had kept the oats they had cut the oats uh, that experiment that uh, you know fine thing is a little complicated that's why i have not mentioned here but understand they isolated it from oats oats name is what avena sativa so it is called as avena curvature test okay so wherever auxin is there that side bending is going to happen right that was the test okay clear yes bioassay for auxin is avena curvature test okay yes great students you haven't seen our an academy neat malayalam channel no you people are not you people are asking me ma'am from where are you i have told my entire story there in the channel okay no no not calicut okay so students this much is clear so the bioassay for your gibberellin is your alpha amylase barley uh, endosperm test okay barley endosperm test are you all with me are you all with me yes i am correct correct devika okay so shall we write the role all of you have already told so many roles so we will go through the roles right what is it psychological roles what are their functions right what are their functions okay let's go what is the first one that we understood it does stem elongation correct it does stem elongation so how do they do stem elongation now this this is one node this is one node students what is present between two nodes this is node node 1 this is node 2 two. two nodes are there what is the gap between the two nodes co called as all of you see all the chapters are interconnected do you see tell me quickly what are the gap between the two nodes present <clears throat> yes internodes very good 
this is called internodes. So, how are they going to increase the stem elongation? They are going to increase by doing internode elongation, okay? By doing internode elongation. Clear to all of you? Internode elongation, okay? Internode elongation will lead to what? Stem elongation at the end, right? It will lead to stem elongation. Then, what else did we understand now? We understood that seed germination takes place, right? From the bioassay, we understood that seed germination takes place, right? So, seed germination or promote seed germination. Students, you have to add the words and write accordingly, okay, seed germination. Other than that, do any of you know anything else? Yes, correct, bolting, right, bolting in rosette plants. Now, what are rosette plants? Like your cabbage, cauliflower, lettuce, that means they will only grow like this, right, it grows like this. Have you seen them growing in so much height? You have seen cabbage like this, you will go and remove cabbage. Have you ever seen like that? No, right, they always grow like flowers, they will be all to the ground will be all to the ground. Now, what is happening for these plants? No, we cannot do stem elongation in the vegetative phase itself because they are not going to grow in that height, right? They are going to grow like this. So, after the just before the flowering or just prior to the flowering, we will make sure that this gibberellin is added so that they do some kind of elongation. Clear to all of you? Yes, melting also correct. Melting also correct, okay? <coughs> Yes or no? Malting, all of that comes in a more of a commercial use. Commercial use. So, what do I write? Balting, okay? Student, so balting is nothing but increase, okay? If you want me to write, I can also write increase, okay? Increase in length or elongation in rosette plants. in rosette plants. Clear to all of you? Yes, rosette plants. So, now what, what did I say? In this rosette plants, they cannot increase the length in the vegetative phase. So, they, when are they going to increase the length? Prior, right? Prior to flowering. Just before flowering, they are going to spray some gibberellin or you know use some gibberellin or gibberellin does the job of increasing the length. Is this clear to all of you? Okay, just prior to flowering, they are going to do stem elongation. What is the example for our rosette plants? All of you like, like Gobi Manchuri, right? My name also has so much connection with it. So, we have cauliflower, lettuce, who does not like burger, lettuce, cabbage, right? So, these are the things, okay? <clears throat> Clear to all of you? So, this, this is very important. Prior to flowering, it is happening, not after flowering, not during the vegetative phase. This could have, this could come as an MCQ asking when does, you know, uh, gibberellin help in rosette plants? Is it prior to flowering, after flowering, during vegetation? Any of the options could come. Clear to all of you? What will your answer be? Your answer will be prior to flowering. Clear? Okay, we will write the commercial use also. Students, uh, there is, okay, when we talk about commercial use, the first thing you have to remember is the sugar cane, okay, sugar cane. All of you know sugar cane, from sugar cane we get sugar, right, we extract sugar from sugar cane. So, now internodal elongation is helpful in monocots, right, because they have to grow longer in length. So, the longer the sugar cane, more the sugar, right. So, they will be able to make more tons of sugar per acre land. Clear to all of you? Okay. Clear to all of you? When we are talking about gibberellin, why are you worried about cytokinin and auxin, Shiva? Please let me know. Yes, okay. So, students understood. So, what is happening? Here, sugar cane, right? This internodal elongation is going to help in sugar cane. So, we are going to get more sugar. So, understood? Understood? Okay. Then, you people are telling, no? 
people are so concentrated on alcohol yes increase in malting increase in malting that is your alcohol are you all happy that i wrote it finally are you all happy that i wrote it finally yes okay and now other than this now what's happening students imagine there is some uh, you know there was like a time like covid right we all know we were all there in covid time okay so what was happening during the covid time imagine you had to you are a farmer okay there is apples growing or say uh, you know some fruit is growing and you are in a situation where you cannot transport the fruit okay because covid everywhere restrictions are happening you or uh, say the lorry drivers are not ready to transport any because of any of this reason you are not able to transport the fruit now you know that the moment you remove the fruit from the tree this is going to get damaged now example say apple if we keep it if you cut the uh, cut the apple and leave it for maybe more than like a 5 second you can see the browning happening right so to avoid that what you have to do you have to let this fruit be on the tree for some more time right to make this fruit stay longer on the tree you have to use you can spray some gibberel got it all of you yes got it all of you they are all excited about alcohol they are all in that ma'am ma'am has written alcohol i am very very happy can you all come back now we are talking about farmers life you people are the farmers that i told you people throughout this chapter you people have to be farmers okay then only you can become doctors so this is <laughs> this is uh, your stage to understand what an all a farmer has done without even knowing science right the farmer has done all this no before also they have done all this without even knowing science much right so here what is happening longer stay of the fruit on the tree okay that could be achieved because of this okay okay yes okay so longer stay of the fruit in the tree will avoid so like the situations when covid comes sometime fog comes smog comes the roads will be blocked so that time you have to make sure that this fruit is not removed because as soon as it removed there are fruits that will you know shrink or something could happen so it has to be transported or quickly packed and transported so to make that delay you can spray, spray some of the gibberellins clear <clears throat> clear very good grandparents are farmers they know so much without even knowing science right now we know all of this because of science okay and students have you all seen grapes have you all seen grapes we have all drawn this in our uh, school right we start with 4 then we go to 3 then we 2 then 1 right we all have drawn it like this now on say in one stalk there can be many grapes right now students what happens accumulation happens right accumulation happens right so if i want to increase the stalk length so the accumulation or that over crowding is avoided i can use some gibberellin because the stem elongation is going to happen that will make sure that there is no crowding right that there is no crowding okay so increase the stalk length in grapes okay increase the stalk and then grapes yes clear <clears throat> yes here is where our photo periodism one word is coming so i'll just mention that okay just mention that okay so students this gibberellin can induce okay this gibberellin can induce flowering it can induce flowering in long day plants students what are long day plants how much ever sun they get until maximum sun exposure come they are not ready to do flowering can a farmer who is doing the or a person who is doing this flower business can they wait until that oh sun has reached here now it will increase then this plant will do flowering then i will do business then i will make sure my sun goes for neat coaching do anyone has so much of time to wait until they are going to flower right yes or no students 
is, that, is someone going to have that time? No, right? They are not going to wait till then. So, what they will do? They will spray some gibberellin and make sure that the flowering happens faster in long day plants. Clear? Clear to all of you? Yes or no? Okay, so it induces flowering in long day plants. This is where your photoperiodism, small things are there. Long day plants, short day plants, neutral plants, right? Uh, so all these things. Short day plants, very in a very minimal uh, sunlight, they will start flowering, and after that, they will not be able to sustain the exposure anymore, right? Uh, and when it comes to long day plants, they can go up to 10 hours, 12 hours, they will be waiting. Oh, little more, increase the sunlight, little more, let me get more exposure, then I will do flowering, right? Okay, neutral plants are not even bothered. Sun is there, not there, I am not worried. My life will go like this. Are, are some students who attend our life once in a while? You take class, you don't take class, ma'am, I am not going to come and attend, right? So, neutral. I'm not worried, ma'am. I'm not worried. I will get AMC just like that. Just by going and just looking at the neat paper, I will make sure to get the AMC. Correct? Okay? Yeah, in modern day, we cannot even wait if if there is a browsing for a microsecond. If they show like this browsing, no, you'll be like, you'll close the app and you'll go to some other app, right? Our modern day, we are everyone wants everything on the fingertip. Ma'am, you're writing notes. No, ma'am, please send me, ma'am. I cannot write. I cannot use my hands. It's too much work. Correct. Correct. So, we always want everything in a hurry. Like, no, ma'am, I cannot wait. You give me notes, ready-made notes, I will read. Students, is that how things happen? Everything needs no shortcuts to success, right? There's no shortcut. Now also, I studied this. I've studied with you also longer. Like, some years back, I've studied with you. Now also, I'm studying these things, right? I'm still studying. Tomorrow also, if I have to prepare for a class, I have to study for myself. I have to know extra information to come and deliver to you people, right? So, no shortcuts. Yes, people who are writing the notes, we can see the improvement. We can see the difference in the score, okay? People who are waiting for these notes to be sent on the batch or to be sent in the telegram, I'm sorry to say, if you do not write the notes by yourself, then it's not going to make sense because I am writing the notes in my sense, right? I'm writing, see, sugar cane, sugar. Now, if you do not listen to the class, you just see this sugar cane, sugar, you will be like, oh, what did ma'am say? Oh, sugar cane from sugar cane, we'll get sugar. Now, you will be thinking, what is the role in the gym? Gibralin. You will not understand that this means stem elongation, right? So, that's the thing, okay? Yes. Clear? So, all of you start writing notes. You should have started and we should have, okay. So, Gibralin was clear. What and all happened with our uh, tongue twister? Students, very, very important. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Okay, very commercial use, okay? Commercial use. Student, there is something called as pine nut. Okay, pine nut, which is the seed of pinus. Okay, now what happens? No, this is seen in more in our uh, Jammu Kashmir, more to the Hima, uh, like you know, colder places, right? Uh, your Himachal Pradesh, all these places, there is something called as pine nut, which is edible, edible seed. Okay, it is from your pinus tree. Now, what happens? No, this will take its own time, no, juvenile phase, then slowly adult phase. Now, does the farmer have the time? Does the farmer have the time? Can it wait? Oh, telling, oh, now it's in the juvenile phase. Let it become adult phase. Till that, I will wait. I will keep all my, I will not eat food till then. No, right? If they have to sell some kind of, it is like more like a dry fruit, okay? It's more like a dry fruit. It is seen more of that places because, you know, pinus does not grow here and we cannot get the seeds all. Even if it grows in a very rare condition, seed we cannot see. So, for this also, we use gibberellin. Okay, when we use gibberellin, what happens? Very soon, adult phase will be formed and because of it, we are able to form the seed. Okay, the pine nut. Clear to all of you? Clear to all of you? Yes, promotes male flowering. Now, here, your, you have the feminine nature and your masculine nature. Okay, masculine effect and your feminine effect. So, feminine effect is seen in most of the hormones. Okay, and masculine effect is seen in your gibberellin, especially in cucumber. That means you want the only the masculine, right? So, that the male part. So, that will be seen that you can use gibberellin, especially in cucumber. Clear? Okay, okay. Good job. Okay. Clear to all of you. So, pine nuts from juvenile phase, we will make it quickly into adult phase. So, the farmer does not have to grow, go hungry, right? Yes. Students, how lucky, you know, if we had some plant growth uh, regulators, uh, we had something like that, no? Just spray something morning, like how we put perfume. And then from suddenly, from our juvenile phase, we are in adult phase, we are earning money, right? 
again you know sometimes spray something i don't feel like being in this adult phase because growing up is very bad so i will go to childhood imagine we had something like that how much fun it would be no fun it would be yes i want to increase my score so i will put some you know cytokinin or i will put some oxin oxin ka perfume i'll spray some of it like that like we had something like this no how easy life would be right all of you would be spraying now you would be fully sprayed with all the regulators that will be there telling them i want to score mark in physics i want in more in chemistry i want more in biology right <laughs> exactly like how you people search no can i crack neat in one day ma'am how to crack neat in one week right if the, the such regulators were there i would have shown the spray and i would have told you students spray this yes mbbs seat done is that possible is that possible no right life would have been easier right life would have been easier but it's not possible right god did not make our life so easy but we are making plants life more easy we are making farmers life more easy yes salen paul jose you can listen it from now okay you we are starting a new plant growth regulator so you will start from here then you yeah even me i would have become i don't know what and all i would have become right if i had so many regulators right <laughs> how to prepare neat without preparation wow how to prepare for neat without preparation great you people are you know species like we tell you no know, like museum species we learn you know, we have to frame and keep you people are like that Hmm. David, even shortcuts are not healthy, but you people are doing no. Even shortcuts are not healthy. Even phone is not healthy on a longer run. Not watching my live every day is not healthy, but you people are doing all these unhealthy things, no. So this also, this also you people can do. Okay, students. So yes, jokes apart. So cytokinin, okay, cytokinin is our next plant growth regulator. Now cytokinin's chemical nature, okay, chemical nature. is purine derivatives what is it purine derivatives purine derivatives okay purine derivatives okay purine derivatives specifically which one adenine okay adenine what is the precursor what's the precursor it's an amino it's it's uh, sorry the precursor is a trna it's i was telling about your amino acid you know acceptor anti codon loop remember all this in your trna trna ha tanishk is very interested in david's original name what is the chemical name of uh, cytokinin come on tanishk answer this chemical nature he has put such a beautiful name david again you want to know original name okay students this is what happens in life what and all i have to see right what and all species i have to go through in life okay so yes so students chemical nature what is happening purine derivatives okay purine derivatives and the precursor is an adenine group precursor is an adenine group okay now discovery student in your old ncert what is given for discovery how many of you have your old ncert open and tell me discovery have they given uh, smoog and miller okay skoog and miller is that given in discovery yes or no check quickly open your textbook and check old ncert old ncert yes okay correct so students actually uh skoog was the one who did the discovery and miller was the one who did the isolation is discovery and isolation same no i am telling oh yes i found this in the seed but did i do anything about it no i just discovered it oh there's something like this but who is the person who is isolation isolating or extracting now example um, rohini is extracting it okay extracting or isolation does that mean both of us did the same job no i did the discovery she did the isolation clear to all of you so discovery was by Skoog and his co-workers. Okay, 
okay, co-workers. So, how did they discover? Okay, how did they discover? Okay, they discovered with the help of tobacco pit culture. They took tobacco, all of you know tobacco, they took the pit of it and they cultured it. Okay, they cultured it. Now, say this is the culture, okay. Okay, tobacco pit culture. This is just imagination drawing. Okay, they used some more things. Okay, so students look here. This tobacco pit culture. Ha, huh, yeah. Now I am going to tell you what they did separately. Okay, so what did they use? They used the tobacco pit culture. Student new NCRT, if any of you have open and see in new NCRT, they have given it separately. Isolated by this person, done by this person. Now, isolation of oxen was by our FW went, okay, but discovery was by our Darwin's, right? Darwin, Francis Darwin, and your um, father, right? Darwin, Darwin and his son. So, here this one tobacco pit culture was discovered. The discovery was by smoke and his culture, uh, I mean, co workers, okay. Skog and his co workers, and uh, isolation was by Miller, okay. Because I told Smog, I'm prana, I feel like his name is Smog, but it's not, okay. So, check the spellings, okay. Yes, tobacco pit culture, what did they do, okay? What did they do? They so, show that they, when they added it first, oxen was there, so oxen was allowing the callus to grow slowly, so slow callus growth. Students, mass of cell, mass of cell was growing, but it was very, very slow, okay, very slow growth was happening because oxygen was there, some amount of growth will definitely happen, right? <coughs> no, you don't need to buy the new NCRT, you don't need to buy the new NCRT. When teachers are teaching in the class, they will mention if there are some corrections like this. Now, like I mentioned, in old NCRT, it is given like that. Now, in new NCRT, it is revised, okay? So, it's not necessary, students, if you already have the old NCRT, please follow the old NCRT. If you feel like there are changes in some chapters, then you download it from online, the new NCRT. Take the PDF, that is a new form, okay? Whatever is on your Google, right? Google, you will get your uh, PDF, right? That is the old, uh, new version, new NCRT. Clear? Don't waste your money again for that. Instead of buy some other, you know, MCQ book and start solving, okay? Yes. So, students, what happened? Slow callus, okay? Slow callus was growing. Then, he, this people added few other things, okay? They added Okay, they added some extractions, they added more, okay, some extraction. So, first they added extraction of vascular tissues, then they added coconut milk. You can say here, you can say some extraction of your xylem, okay, xylem coconut milk okay and some so what are they doing yeast extract okay they added yeast extract and they added all this and they noticed that the callus growth was increasing okay yeast extract what did they notice they noticed that the callus was growing at a very exponential rate it was increasing the growth was increasing okay the callus started dividing fast that is when they understood something is there behind this it is not oxen who did the job because when oxen was the only one there the callus growth was slow now it has become fast division of the callus right clear to all of you fast division of the callus clear yes or no yes or no so they understood in all these extract there was something called a cytokinin right cytokinin is a derivative of purine right so in all of this they noticed that there was cytokinin which was doing the job which was doing the job clear Yes, clear? Should I explain? Uh, Lahari, most of the time, no. Whatever is done on the special class will not be repeated here again because there are a lot of students who attend the class in special class, right? So, uh, later on, by the time of Jan, Feb and all, we will be doing uh, maybe one shot, just like a revision, okay, but not so detailed, 
not so detailed clear okay now students let's understand so is this clear so the chemical nature is a purine derivative that is specially your adenine and then your precursor is a trna and discovery was by your skog and uh, co-workers okay and it was by tobacco pith culture they took the tobacco and tobacco spit and they cultured it first they saw that there was a slow callus okay growth was very slow that is mainly because of only oxygen presence right because oxygen was present okay and later what did they do they added extraction of the vascular tissue like extraction of xylem coconut milk and yeast extract and they noticed that the growth was increasing they, then they understood that all of this has cytokinin that would have lead, led to the uh, you know increase in the growth now isolation okay isolation here we go the pen does not want to stay with us in teaching so it keeps going that's on the side okay one second yes okay are you all ready did you all understand should i repeat any part okay should i repeat any part isn't it easy okay now isolation who who did isolation isolation was done by miller and his team okay miller and team okay at all also means team okay yes now it he started it by taking a fish okay fish it is called the herring fish okay h e not the hair hair herring fish okay he took the sperm from this fish okay herring fish say he took the sperm and he autoclaved it okay so he took sperm and he autoclaved it what is autoclaving that means using high heat okay high heat up to say 120 degree celsius it, he used it for 10 minutes he kept the sperm at for 10 minutes okay so 120 degree celsius for and for 10 minutes now tell me students if we heat sperm at this much temperature for 10 minutes what will happen okay what will happen what will happen what would have happened the nucleus would have burst right everything would have come out right everything would have come out but we know one thing will not, how much of a heat we apply one thing will not get damaged who is that our dna will not get damaged okay so after the autoclaving we got the derivatives okay we got the derivatives of purine and pyrimidines okay derivatives of our purines and pyrimidines okay we got derivatives of purines and pyrimidines yes dna will not get damaged right dna will not get damaged we knew that for sure so he took this fish he took this sperm autoclaved it at 120 degrees celsius for 10 minutes okay around 120 to 121 degree celsius for 10 minutes and what did we get because of the high heat the nucleus would have burst the cell content everything would have got melted down only thing what will remain is our dna from that we got derivatives of purines and pyrimidines okay so we already know the chemical nature is purine derivatives right so from this we uh, the what happened miller isolated okay miller isolated kinetin miller isolated kinetin okay is kinetin a naturally synthetic one or artificial like is it like naturally occurring one is it naturally occurring one yes or no so this was the first isolated one first isolated cytokinin but it is not naturally occurring but it's not naturally occurring but not naturally occurring clear yes or no not natural very good okay it is not naturally occurring so let's go through the experiment once again so isolation happened it was done by miller and his uh, friends okay or his team 
Now what did they take? They took a herring fish and they removed the sperm out of it. They autoclave the sperm for around 120 minutes, 120 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And what did they notice? That all the cell content would have, you know, got damaged. Only the DNA will not get damaged. We have already learned from Griffith's experiment, right? Now, because of that, because the DNA did not get damaged, we got derivatives of purines and pyrimidines. From this, we found out kinetin, which is the first isolated cytokinin, but a not naturally occurring cytokine. Okay? Yes. Zeatin is the naturally occurring cytokine. Okay? So, we found zeatin, okay, zeatin, <coughs> which was the naturally occurring one. So, it is the first naturally occurring cytokine. Got it? Students, very, very important. This will be asked in your MCQ. You can check your previous year papers. The questions have been asked, okay, which is the naturally occurring one, which is the first isolated one, okay. So, do not get it confused because most of the students will be like, oh, isolation happened. That means it should be a naturally occurring one. No, naturally occurring one is from the maze, okay. This zyatin is from uh, maze. So, that is the naturally occurring one, okay. Got it, all of you? It is from Zia mace, okay, Zia a type of mace, right, okay, from Zia mace, clear to all of you, it is from Zia mace, okay. Now, what is the chemical nature of it? It is, okay, chemical nature of it, it is benzyl amino, okay, benzyl amino. <coughs> B A P B A P you can remember like that okay benzyl amino purine okay benzyl amino purine yes benzyl amino purine B A P is it clear to all of you yes only Rohini is understanding what about the others what about the other students quickly like like the session quickly and let me know your attendance whoever joined late I cannot see likes people are so conjusy with likes here yeah. yes benzyl amino purin clear to all of you yes <coughs> I know you people like me, but still like the session. You should like me and like the session, okay? Both should happen, right? Both should happen. Okay, shall we go for the role? Shall we go for the function? What is it doing? What is it not doing? Right? We have to understand the function, right? Let's do the function. Okay? Students, how many of you know lack me? How many of you know lack me? Lack me anti-aging cream, lacme, powder, something, I don't know, foundation. Since how many of you know about lacme, how many of you know about, which are the ads that comes very much, Santur, 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 what is that ad? Hmm, I forgot, Santur mummy, right? <laughs> Santur mother, so how of you know that? What do they say in the Santur uh, soap when they use? They say that, your age gets reduced, right? Even if you are 40, you will look like a 25 uh, age person. Even if you are a mother, you look so young, right? So, who is the Santur in plant growth regulators? Cytokine. Who is the Santur? Who is the Santur? Cytokine, okay? Ha, Santur mummy. Yeah, I was thinking about the ad. It's been very long that they show the ad. So, I have lost, you know, contact of the ad, what they say, okay? So, who is the Santur in uh, plant growth regulator? Cytokine. That means what it is going to do? Anti-aging properties. It has anti-aging property. Ha, yes, yes. You people know so well. If I ask you, we will same way some question from molecular basis of inheritance. You will all see stars. You will see full solar system. But if I talk about any ad, any Instagram deal, you people are so, 
ma'am i know even the lyrics i know who wrote it who composed it what they were wearing that time everything i'll tell no correct no students if i ask you did you understand students did you like the session students did you join a bad students no response if i tell wow you people will go for that reel if i tell you santur look at your excitement that's why i told you people are like when amazing see see look at the excitement in the chat box you can see that students all of you can observe so happy all of you are ha huh. cuz i told santur mummy they like ma'am wow you telling one word out of biology we are so happy this is our life you, <laughs> okay so yes so cytokinin my siri also is answering siri is telling no i cannot find santur mummy here yes okay so yes students so look here it has anti aging property okay anti aging property now it is an anti aging hormone okay or it is a plant growth regulator right now why do i say it is anti aging what is it going to do it is going to delay senescence right it is going to delay senescence okay senescence is going to delay senescence okay yes and it is also one second is going to delay senescence at the same time it is going to form new leaves right that is the beauty of plants right having fresh beautiful green color leaves okay same way giving new chloroplast okay new chloroplast at the same time changing the internal structures what and all could be the internal structures your dna rna all this will be new that is how we get anti aging right how does the skin looks better glowing how do we look young everything has to be changed your diet has to be changed it is not just you know putting 10 layers of cream on your face and walking around telling that oh i'm going to look like i'm 15 i'm going to look like i'm 21 no no that doesn't work your diet has to be good you should not be taking stress your lifestyle has to be in such a way same thing for this uh, plants also okay so what is going to happen rna dna all of this will be maintained right very good i'm happy that you people will not forget cytokinin okay if you people forget cytokinin i don't know what to tell example students okay protein Okay, I've written Santur here, so people remember. Yes, so everything will be continuously changed. Okay, and it also does mobilization of nutrients. That means movement, translocation of nutrients, right? so what happened the nutrients which is going and you know getting stuck in places where like the leaf is you know almost going to uh, fall right abscission is going to happen if there are a lot of nutrients there they will try to move the nutrients so that the whole plant looks very energetic happy right yes clear to all of you so it is going to improve the plant in all these ways by forming new leaves chloroplast may helping them to do pro photosynthesis properly so this is the anti aging property clear to all of you yes and now okay yes very good i'm happy i'm happy that you people are happy okay so students now there is one thing one 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 what to tell one fight is going to happen the fight is nothing but cytokinin with auxin okay cytokinin with auxin is going to help in cell division it's going to help in what cell division okay who is going to help along with auxin who is going to help cytokine and we just saw that right the callus was going slow that time auxin was there when we added some cytokine and both of them started becoming a team and started growing together right that is how you should always be so along with auxin we have our cytokine that is going to help in cell division but every friends will have a fight right do all of you be like oh no no i will not fight however they behave no we will fight right if we don't like something about them we will fight same thing here we have a problem with auxin 
ऑक्सीजन एज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑक्सीजन विल ओनली ग्रो ऑक्सीजन इज अ वेरी डोमिनेंट पर्सन इट विल डू एपिकल डोमिनेंस ना वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन साइटोकाइन विल नॉट लाइक इट राइट साइटोकाइन वॉन्ट्स टू डू लैटरल डोमिनेंस और वॉन्ट टू ग्रो इट लैटरली ना दे बोथ आर गोइंग टू हैव अ फाइट ओके they both are going to have a fight what is the fight about one wants to promote lateral dominance one wants to promote apical dominance now both of them are not going to fight and you know kill the plant they are going to come to a balance where uh, when when they see that the stem elongation is becoming too much oxygen will have to stop and then cytokinin will start doing lateral dominance clear to all of you so your cytokinin okay does lateral dominance lateral dominance clear to all of you yes it overcomes epical dominance okay it overcome epi epical dominance or you can say it counter reacts okay it counter reacts with your epical dominance okay you can use one of it one of the word counter reacts with epical dominance or it overcomes epical dominance by starting lateral dominance clear to all of you <coughs> yes <coughs> Yes. Okay. Fine. Okay. This cytokinin also increases the shelf life of a fruit. Okay, fruit or a vegetable. That means how longer they will stay without getting decayed, right? How longer they will stay even after you know keeping them in fridge and all. Like we we all don't use all now. Imagine we take a cauliflower or a cabbage. we want very less amount we only want it for fried rice okay we will take some amount leave the rest right now when we leave the rest what is going to happen that we have to make sure that this does not completely get uh, you know fully brown and all that right so this will increase the shelf life okay cytokinin will increase the shelf life of a vegetable or a fruit clear to all of you yes or no clear anything anything else okay so it delays senescence suppress apical dominance it also forms new leaf chloroplast anti aging it will do for the plant okay yes good job good job okay next we have our ethylene okay ethylene now students ethylene is <clears throat> ethylene experiment i really love the way the experiment was found okay experiment was found but then we also have to understand some more things okay now students ethylene we already knew it is a gaseous hormone right we all knew that yes we all knew first thing i ever told you when we started the class was that right ethylene and i also told you ethylene has a dual nature did i say that did i say it has a dual nature dual nature or it has it is a plant growth inhibitor who has the dual nature one who was the dual nature one there were three people who were doing plant promotion okay promotion we have done already who are the inhibitors who are the this one check properly check properly ha ha very good okay so this was doing both the job it can inhibit as well as it can promote right it was doing dual jobs okay it is a gaseous hormone now i'll tell you one second yes okay ethylene has dual nature very good okay so this one has a dual nature okay now students how the we need to know the chemical nature and all that now you know ethylene is already gaseous there is nothing like you know big uh, chemical nature like to be told okay but i will tell you one thing okay one minute <coughs> i have written notes for you people but it is handwritten okay yes let's write so ethylene we already know the name chemical nature now we'll write about the precursor precursor is an amino acid amino acid it is methionine okay methionine who is the other one who has an amino acid precursor methionine who is an amino acid who has an amino acid students other one one more person has a precursor amino acid amino acid if you want clue i can give if I, if you want clue i can give amino acid who is the one more amino acid acts like a precursor in one of the plant growth regulator who is that who is that you want clue you want clue you don't want clue think properly all of you are going and searching i know you're looking at your notes right all are checking the notes people don't know
the clue is, oh subhashni got it very good very good oxin cryptofan remember cryptofan oxin amino acid right amino acid is the precursor okay so okay discovery when we talk about discovery students discovery is by cousins discovery is by cousins not our uh, relative cousins the person's name is cousins so he discovered it now how did he discover it okay he discovered it like this he took an orange okay he took an orange that was ripened okay it was a ripened orange okay and then there was a banana okay then there was a so i'll draw one very green color banana since i don't think i'm i can draw a banana it looks like a chili okay so you have to assume this is a banana okay i knew that i cannot draw it <laughs> so okay so banana clear which is unripened okay which is unripened unripened or unripened banana okay he kept this ripened orange and then you know unripened banana next to it right next to it now he after some time he noticed or after some few hours he noticed that this banana got ripened this banana got ripened okay so he understood there was something that was getting okay there was something that was getting transferred okay there was something that was getting transferred from this ripened orange to this unripened banana that went to that led to the discovery of your uh, your ethylene okay that is when we understood there was something gaseous that something volatile right did anything exchange otherwise did we see some part of the orange going there nothing we saw right but they noticed that after some time the banana got ripened right the banana got ripened so then he understood there was something that moved from the ripened orange to the banana that caused the banana to ripe okay clear okay ripened banana that was because of something volatile because of something volatile clear Yes, all of you, all of you. What happened to Subhashni, Nandini? So many people. Why? Yes, so many are not at all answering. All have gone to sleep. <coughs> all good? Are you all understanding? Yes. Okay. Fine. Yes. Great. Karuna is here. Okay, students. So now. Uh, that's all about the you know your uh, discovery. There is no much about isolation. It's not necessary for you people. So we are not getting into isolation. We are directly getting into the role. What is the function that it does? Okay. What is the function that it does? Okay. Let's start. So when we talk about the role. Okay. When we talk about the role. Okay. First role it is going to do is going to promote senescence. It is going to promote senescence is going to promote abscission is also going to promote fruit ripening okay so promote senescence promote abscission going to help in fruit ripening okay clear to all of you it also does it also does elongation okay it also does elongation clear to all of you so it does what and all it does abscession it promotes senescence it promote abscession and it also helps in root ripening okay now other than that what and all it helps it helps in root hair formation it helps in root hair where have we seen root hair where have we seen root hair it helps in root hair and root growth root growth do you understand why this is a 
this has dual nature it is promoting senescence right it is promoting obsession right but at the same time it is also doing root hair growth root you know gr root growth right it's also doing that okay it's also doing that clear to all of you yes yes obsession okay root growth root hair formation all this is done by this person so that is why we are telling this has a dual nature okay Okay, next point. It is also helping in germination of some seeds. Okay, especially your peanut. Okay, especially your peanut. So it helps in germination of seeds, especially your peanut. Yes. All of you put some fire emoji in the chat box. I do not feel the energy. I feel like you people got bored of plant growth regulators. Okay. Put some fire emoji quickly in the chat box. Let me see if all of you have the energy. I just I don't feel like taking class. No, how will I feel like taking class? Yes, good job, good job. I want to see. It should be flooded. Come on, I'm going to. I don't want to close my eyes, but yeah, let it go. Let's see. <coughs> That's all. That's all. I want more. I want more. I want more people also. I don't want the same names also. I want all of you to do that. Come on, so many are there in the class. So many are there in the class. They're doing from within and all. They're emitting fire, circus and all is happening. Okay, yes. Okay, fine. So students, what has happened? So we saw that it promotes senescence, obsession, root, uh, fruit ripening, root growth, root hair, root hair growth. Okay, all this is happening at the same time. At the same time, it's also helping in sprouting of the potato. Sprouting of potato. Okay. Sprouting of potato. Clear. <laughs> sprouting of potato then it also enhances the stem length okay it also enhances the stem and the petiole elongation is happening very very important it is going to help in the elongation of what and all stem and petiole okay stem and petiole elongation is going to happen in which kind of plants in deep water ones okay deep water okay clear any doubts <coughs> okay especially in rice plants okay rice plants which are like submerged partially submerged and completely dipped all on in these plants they are going to increase the elongation of stem and the petiole right stem and the petiole <coughs> clear yes or no doubt is there doubt is there any doubt in deep water rice in deep water rice have you heard look at your ncrt they have mentioned no enhance the stem length and petiole elongation in deep water rice have you seen okay so that is what is happening here, okay yes it also breaks dormancy now what is dormancy dormancy what means the seed is planning to stop germinating and go to sleep Right, seed is like no, I don't want to germinate. So it will break the seed and be like now you have to germinate. So it breaks, breaks seed dormancy. Like how your parents will break, no? How your parents will be like, oh, you're planning to sleep. Now I'll show you if you can sleep or not. Okay? <laughs> do they do that? Do they do that? <clears throat> yes. Do they do? Okay, yes or no? Do they do that? No, ma'am, they don't do. They're very nice to me. <coughs> Sometimes, okay. Now we have your etiphone, okay, which is the first or the most commonly available kind of an ethylene, okay, which is the most commonly. Most commonly, I'm going to ask you people all rapid fire, okay? So all these I'll ask, all these I'll ask, okay? Most commonly, 
available ethylene. Yes, clear? Okay, and what do they help in? This helps in flowering. Okay, this helps in flowering, in especially in which tomato and apple. Okay, flowering in tomato. Okay. Clear? Yes, very good. Okay, in tomato and apple. Okay, apple. Okay, and also it helps in formation of female flowers in cucumber. Okay, that means your feminine. Okay, feminine characteristic is will be shown in cucumber with the help of ethylene. Okay, female. That is uh, formation of your female flowers. Students, when they have given specific examples, please make a note separately, okay? Please make a note separately because those questions could be asked, okay? Those questions could be asked, okay? Ready? Done? Done? So much we studied, right? We have to revise also. So much we studied, we have to revise also, right? Students, one second. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> Ready? Last one we'll do. Last one we'll do. A B A. Abscisic acid done. Ready? After this we are done. Right? After this we are done. Do we have anything else left? Do we have anything else left? No, right? We are done and dusted. Done and dusted. Yes or no? Yes or no? <coughs> Yes, good. Yes. Okay. So, students, abscisic acid, okay, ABA, right, ABA, we call it most commonly ABA, right. What is its full form? Okay, what is its full form? Abscisic acid. Okay, abscisic acid. Now, what is the chemical name? Okay, what is the chemical name? Stress hormones, yes. Okay. Okay, the chemical name is carotenoid derivatives. Okay, what is it? Carotenoid derivatives. Okay. Carotenoids derivatives. Okay, yes. Yes, and the precursor is xanthophyll. Okay, xanthophyll. It is <coughs> xanthophyll acts like a precursor. Actually, there is one more specific name, but uh, let us not. Carotenoid derivatives, correct, okay, carotenoid de derivatives and we also have voila xanthin which is a type of a xanthophyll which act as a carotenoids, okay, which act as a carotenoids, okay, type of a xanthophyll. Okay, <coughs> voila xanthin, okay. Yes. Now, students isolation and discovery is not given a lot. It is only about you know how it is discovered from abscissors, your dormin and inhibin together, your ABA is uh, you know uh, discovered. There is no much given about the discovery. Okay. There is no much given about the discovery. So, we will only write that. Okay. We will only write that. What not did I say? What not did I say? First one is, first one is abscissors. Mm, he been. Okay, 
Dorman. Did you all know this? Is it there in your textbook? Okay. Yes. Okay, so here this is a stress hormone, right? This is a stress hormone. Student, does it come in? Does it come under plant? Uh, what is that? Growth promoter or inhibitor? Where have we studied it? Growth or inhibitor? Growth or inhibitor? Where did we study about this? <coughs> Where did we study? Anyone remembers? Anyone remembers? No one remembers? Yes, inhibitor, right? This is a stress hormone. Whom is it going to give stress? It is going to give stress to the stomata for closing, right? It is going to give stress whom? Stress hormone, it is going to give stress. Why? Closing the stomata, right? Closing the stomata. So, it is going to help in, I mean, it is going to avoid any kind of transpiration, right? <laughs> stress hormone, like, stress hormone is not you people. The... Need is the stress hormone, right? Need students know stress hormone is need, right? It is going to give you the job, right? So, what is it? The stress hormone, it is making sure that the stomata closes. I will write it down one second. It is a stress hormone making sure that the stomata closes. And it avoids what? It tries to avoid transpiration, right? If stomata closes, how will transpiration happen? You will try to avoid transpiration, right? <coughs> okay. And here, the bioassay, okay, bioassay for this is by your cotton bean explant test, okay? cotton bean explant test. Okay, cotton bean explant test. No much explanation for this, that is why I am not giving. Okay. Yes, neat is the <laughs> adrenaline is always active, no? Adrenaline is like, oh, I have to activate myself, right? <laughs> I have to activate myself all the time because these people are always in stress. They are not preparing properly and they give me a lot of stress, telling that I have to crack it in one month, five months, six months, right? Students, how many of you haven't joined Avengers 3.0? Students, offers are going to end, okay? Offers are going to end. Then you people will be like, ma'am, can I join now? Can I join later? All that is not possible, okay? All that is not possible. So, Right. So, once again, I will show you how to join because most of you don't know how to join. Right. Now, this is the video, right? We are going live, right? We are going live, ad is playing. So, here, click on more. And students look here, Avengers 3.0 batch, right? Avengers 3.0 batch. You can see Unlock 20 is there, right? Avengers 3.0 PYQ test series. Join the test series, students. It's very important. Super 30 is happening. So, click on this Avengers batch, right? Here, join batch. Okay, it ends in three days. That's why I'm telling you people. And they are asking for a referral code. Type go pick a. Okay, apply. And look at the price. Look at the price drop. Can you all see it? Can you all see it? Okay. So, it is going to end in 3 days. Okay. It is given here. Ends in 3 days. So, all of you join. So, you will not have to wait on YouTube for part 2, part 3 of all the educators. Everything will be there. Everything will be ready made in your hands. You do not have to wait. Right. Okay. You do not have to wait. This, this is the price that you will have to give. Okay. This is the price you will have to give. 3,367 only if you use my code. Otherwise, you will have to pay the whole 4,000 something. You will have to pay almost 4,200 fully. Only if you use my code, you are going to get it for this price. Clear? Clear? 
So quickly make the decision, join a batch, attend as many mock series possible because students on YouTube, it is not possible for all the educators co and come and do mock series here. Yes, we will try our maximum to put in information, but we will mainly focus on making the concepts stronger. All the mock series, test papers, everything we will be doing on the app. Okay, so it is always better that when you're competing with 20 lakh students it's better that you people are a part of a batch because you'll feel safe you'll feel like okay there are teachers around me they're there to help me right youtube is a very clumsy medium there's so much happening there you'll be watching my video suddenly a notification will come about some game you will click on that you will go to play store download it and start playing there right but these things don't happen in a batch okay so it's a humble request all of you quickly make the decision join now because it's only for two days again okay after this if you join you're going to be left out with so much portions so it's better you make the decision right now so you don't have to wait telling that when will part two be released when will part three be released when will part four be released ma'am i'm waiting okay you don't have to be dependent like that right okay fine so we studied the discovery we studied it is a stress hormone now we have to do know the role right now we have to know the role how many of you know the role what is the role it induces okay it induces seed dormancy okay it induces seed dormancy so whose code are you going to use if you are going to join if you want discount if you want more discount whose name i am giving my name for free Later, I will not allow you people to use my name like this. So now you can use my name for free. What is what is the code that you use? Limited, limited. My name will be like no. I can. I will not give you to use the name. Rohini is telling inhibit C dormancy. I say so. If you type in the referral code, you will not get one rupee discount also. Okay. P P. Ah, uh, killing my name. G O P I K A. Okay, G O P I K A. That's why I'm telling you. You people can remember, you know, uh, gibberellin, cytokine, photoperiodism. Uh, what to say? What else? Transcription, translation. But you cannot type my name properly, which is only like G O P I K A, right? Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? You people, I should, I should also keep my name as some biological term. Then you people will remember. Then you people will remember easily. You can remember platy helminthes, askel minthes. You will remember uh, amphioxus. All this you will remember. But my name is too difficult to remember. Yes or no? Okay. So yes. So it induces seed dormancy, students. It induces seed dormancy and closing of stomata, and it causes that stress. Uh, stress, right? Closing of of stomata. Okay. Closing of stomata. Right? Clear? Yes or no? Clear? Any doubts? Any doubts? So Dorman, Dorman was the by a team of scientists, right? By a team of scientists, Dorman, they abscission two and inhibitor B was all figured out, right? By a team of scientists, the team of scientists name is not important, right? No, that's not the spelling. <laughs> okay. Yes. Closing of stomata. Yes or no? Clear. So Dorman abscission two and inhibitor B. All this was found by a set of scientists. That is why we are not dealing or we are not knowing their names. Okay. This is already written. Okay. I'll just add here. Okay. Inhibin. So it is inhibitor B. Okay. It's inhibitor B. I mean inhibin also is fine, students. But if you want exactly inhibitor B. Okay. Inhibitor B. Dorman and abscissors or your abscission. Two, all this was found by a set of scientists. Clear? These are the two functions. Clear? Yes. All of you, are we done with the chapter? Are we done with the chapter, or we have anything more? <clears throat> yes, we have antagonist, right? Antagonist and your synergistic effect, right? Antagonist. Who is antagonist to all of them? We have uh, cytokinin, right? Cytokinin and auxin. 
they go against right when it comes to when it comes to apical dominance they go against each other right they go against each other so i think we will write it here only so in one second i'll just duplicate this also right yes <clears throat> yes all of you so when uh, if we talk about cell division who are the two people who is going to help for cell division who are the two people who is going to help for cell division they are positive to each other right okay and we have actually this i'll give you as a homework this is your homework okay i'll write few of them you people will write the homework whatever i taught only i'm going to give okay you have to write it comment below which has antagonist effect on your apical dominance right students after the class you have to type it down okay after the class you have to type it down okay I'm going to read your comments. I'm going to like your comments if you are right or wrong. Okay. Senescence. Senescence. Um. both uh, see ethylene and aba ethylene is both inhibitor and promoter so one is breaking dormancy one is uh, what it tell uh, inhibiting seed dormancy one is acting as a complete inhibitor one is acting half promoter half in inhibitor right okay so this is your homework you people have to do this i have to type it in the chat box okay so you are going to write sin cell division this one antagonist so apical and uh, this one okay antagonistic and synergistic effect clear yes will you all do it will you all do it i want to check i want to check okay okay now students there is ways to prevent dormancy correct there are some ways to prevent dormancy okay let's see that now when i say uh, how can i break dormancy right how can i break dormancy what are the internal factors of the seed from preventing germination that means there will be some internal factors in the seed that is actually so when i say about dormancy what do i mean that means there are some internal factors in the seed that is not allowing the seed to germinate right that is the reason why the seed is undergoing dormancy right so the reason for so dormancy could be some of the internal factors okay okay <clears throat> now what is happening students the seed dormancy could be mainly because of one reason the main reason is okay i'll write uh, reasons reasons for seed dormancy okay reason for seed dormancy is the presence of a very very hard seed coat right if the seed coat is too hard now say you are wearing a very very tight blanket or someone has wrapped you know a rope against you will you be able to move your hands will you be able to move your hands move your legs if you have been completely put that uh, cello tape is put against you full full that insulation tape is put in such a way that you cannot move your hands right so that same way if there is a hard seed coat that is present then the plumule and radical will find it difficult to germinate right so they'll be like oh it's better than germinating i will just sleep i will just not germinate right so because of a presence of a hard seed coat right presence of a hard seed coat okay yes now i told you dormancy could be because of yes block of germination now it could be because of an impermeable seed coat okay for h2 that means uh, not allowing water to enter inside right not allowing water to enter inside so germination can happen okay so it could be because of an impermeable seed coat for water impermeable 
seed coat possible students possible yes all of you agree all of you agree an impermeable seed coat for h2o to enter if water cannot enter inside how will the seed germinate how will the seed germinate it will be in the soil for longer time yes agree agree disagree these people are not agreeing not disagree <coughs> agree disagree okay then it could be a presence yes very good it could be a presence of an immature embryo that means the embryo which is formed is immature okay it could be the presence of an immature immature embryo okay or it could be because of some inhibitors it could be presence of some inhibitors like aba right because of some inhibitors also seed dormancy can occur right did you all understand did you all understand <clears throat> yes okay now we have to understand how can we break the seed dormancy now we understood these are the main reasons for seed dormancy so if you have to break it we can do artificially we can do naturally we can wait for it all that but if you are doing artificially we have to do something called as uh, you know using acid acid soluble that means to make sure that the hard coat is removed right hard coat is removed okay so how can we do it how oh no one second students i will go not that get this no yes <clears throat> Okay, so how will we do it? We can do it. I'm just going to write few of them. Students, few of them, alright. So we can do it uh, artificially or naturally. Okay, we can do. That means we can break. Okay, seed dormancy. Can you people think of ways that we can break them naturally? What can we do naturally? <clears throat> naturally, can we do something about them? Like uh, maybe like you know uh, use some microbes, right? Do some microbial action or use some microbes to make sure that the hard coat, okay, hard coat is you know softened or you know the the content is removed, okay. So by using some microbial actions, microbial actions. Yes, possible, students. Microbial actions possible, right? We can definitely. We have seen plays where the hard coat can the hard coat, right? Will be used by the microbes, right? They will consume some amount of it. So because of that, the coat will not become very, very hard. There will be a little softening, right? Little softening. Yes, digestive tract of animals. Digestive tract of animals. Now, chemical inhibitors. We can also use chemical inhibitors. How can we use? Making sure. Okay. Yes, gibberellic. The acid part will be the internal factors. Now we are trying to do external factors, right? Internal factors. Some acids we can use are. P, uh, again a uh, plant growth regulators can be used now we are doing some of the external things that could be done okay now what can we do we can give some good environmental conditions right we can go give some light temperature so that they feel okay i have to do some job right so increase or improve the environmental conditions like light and temperature students most of the seeds sometimes they go into dormancy because dormancy because they are not you know they are not in a place where there is enough sunlight or temperature to trigger them right there should be a trigger right for photosynthesis to happen sunlight has to come water has to enter chlorophyll has to get activated right we study that is in photosynthesis right there should be some kind of activation for that electron to move to do the photosystem 
right? If that is not there itself, the seed can go into dormancy. Have you noticed that sometimes you, you know, put some seeds like mustard or your methi, all of that you put. And remember earlier, uh, now like in I think few like one, uh, three, six months back and all, there was used to be this pencils, tip of the pencil, they used to give us some seeds. Some used to be spinach, some used to be something, remember? Remember? We could remove that and we could sow some seeds, right? What happens? These seeds have been kept here for a very longer time. They would have completely dried. Some of it would have also gone into seed dormancy. Why? Because they're not, they're packed in boxes, they're kept in shops in boxes. Until we buy also, we are also using it, keeping it inside our pouch bag. So where is the, where is the trigger for them? There is no light, there is no temperature change, correct? Okay? Did you all see that pencil? Did you all see that pencil behind there is to give a seed? It was a paper, made up of paper pencil. It was actually during that, you know, environmental day and all that. They used to give these pencils in colleges, schools and all to teachers, students and all. Okay. You people can check online. You can see that backside there was a small, you know, a white color thing with seeds inside that. Okay. So, until you finish the pencil, when you sharp and come to an end only, you will be able to remove that. Okay. You cannot just first only remove that. Okay. Yes. So, there should be some temperature changes okay now when we talk about artificial there are so many methods of artificial i will be not mentioning all of it but i'll mention few of them okay i'll mention few of them <coughs> scarification students what is scarification making a scar oh nandini i will i will give it to you okay once you get good score when we meet, that time I'll come and give you, okay? Okay, well, students, what is scarification? That means making a scar on the coat, right? On the seed coat, right? First problem was a hard seed coat. We make a scar. How, ca how and all can we make a scar? We can use acids. We can use alcohols. We can cut, right? We can cut with a knife. We can just make a scar like that, right? So, what and all can we do? We can use acids. We, we can use alcohols. We can dissolve them in alcohols. We can use knife, right? We can manually cut them. We can use sandpaper. Have you people seen sandpaper? Sometimes they rub on the seed. How many of you have seen? They will rub sandpaper on the seed, okay? Sandpaper, okay? All this method can be used, okay? Sandpaper and uh, yes, that's it. Okay, now uh, stratifications also can be done that where we use a chemical inhibitor. Again, what do we do? We give low temperature, we give oxygen, we give your gibberellic acid, okay, nitrate, nitrites. Now, gibberellic acid we are giving as an external, that means we are spraying on the seeds, okay, we are spraying on them, we are, uh, you know, using them on uh, top of it, but that is an artificial technique. It is not natural, right? It's not natural. The plant itself can have some amount which might not help to break the dormancy that time we spray extra outside right so there that time we can do okay that time we can do what and all can we do we can use gibberellic acid okay yes we can use gibberellic acid we can use nitrites okay all this can be used clear to all of you clear to all of you <coughs> Yes, vigorous shaking also we can do here, vigorous shaking, but I don't know how vigorous shaking, okay, sometimes the seed coat will get removed, but not all the time, okay, these are the most common techniques. Clear to all of you students? This is some techniques for, you know, breaking the seed dormancy. You can remember a few of them in case some question has come, okay. Now, the last topic is your photoperiodism. It's completely removed, but I just want to tell you people, your long day plants, short day plants and your neutral plants. That's all. That's all I want to mention in this because now we have seen that, right? So, what is this? What, what is happening actually, okay? Nitrites, ITS, ITS, nitrites, okay? So, students, what is happening? Your long day plants, like right? long day plants, short day plants. Long day plants means how much ever exposure of sunlight is happening, okay? How much ever exposure of sunlight is happening, okay? Tanish, can you stop spamming, Tanish? Okay. Nitrites, nitrates, I like both. Nitrites, nitrates. Okay, yes, yes, students, what is happening? What is happening? 
this photo period is a long day plants okay long photo period that means how much of a sunlight they get they will not be happy they'll be like let the sunlight get maximum then i will do flowering okay then we have short day plants short day plants means which are with small amount of light also right with small amount of light also they will be able to right they will be able to do flowering they'll be able to do flowering okay so clear to all of you and then uh, there is you don't have to go into the depth but just understand this okay do not think long day plants means oh long day they will be waiting short day means uh, in a very short period of time they will die no not like that it is depending on the light okay so photo periodism itself means what the duration of light that the plant requires right sometimes the plant will require say very long period of light that is your long day plants very short at one point they will get like you know when it gets too sunny they'll be like no i cannot take any more sun right so i'm just quitting this flowering job okay and they will stop flowering then you have neutral how much ever sunlight increase decrease i am not bothered i am i will do the job when i want to do the job okay clear to all of you so are we done with this chapter are we done with this chapter are you all clear about everything can we do a quick mcq <clears throat> ready yes rapid fire not mcq rapid fire rapid fire it's been so long we did rapid fire right ready if you are ready what are you supposed to do If you're ready, what are you supposed to do? Very good, very good. Yes, shall we start? Okay. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, students. I'm going to ask from anywhere in the chapter. Okay, I'm not going to stick on to this only topic. Anywhere from the chapter, anywhere from the chapter. Okay. Yes. Ready. Okay. Fine. We are all confident. Let's go. Okay, students. First question. Okay. Okay. First question. Heterophily is shown. Okay. Plasticity is seen. Heterophily is shown. Heterophily, depending on the face. Heterophily, depending on the face. Can you give me the example? in which plants heterophily is depending on the face that means juvenile phase they will show one type in the adult phase they will show one type very good very good good job good job very good subhashni nandini good job cotton and coriander okay next question next question okay yes <clears throat> ready next question all of you give me okay tell me which is which is give me one example of a synthetic oxen one example of a synthetic oxen synthetic oxen one example who and all told cotton so many told cotton so many told cotton yes let's see who and all told nandini subhashni harsha rohini yeah many of you told i thought i'll can read your all your names why yes yes okay students what's the example very good very good good job good job what's the example 24d 245t right n a a so we have n a a 245 24d 245t right all these people are synthetic okay good job okay who is the santur who is the santur soap of our uh, <laughs> plant growth regulators who is the santur who has anti aging properties Who's who is the hormone which helps for anti-aging? Very good, very good. Who is it? 
cytokine n okay cytokine n rapid fire you people have to be fast okay rapid fire you people have to be fast right fast fast okay then um, let me think let me think i want to ask from the starting okay students primary growth is it seen in dicot monocot or both primary growth is it seen in dicot monocot or both Dicot, monocot, or both? Dicot, monocot, both? Both. Very good. Both. It is seen in both. But secondary growth is only seen in dicot, right? Secondary growth is only seen in dicot. Okay. Now tell me how many times does the cells of watermelon increase in size? How many times does the cells of watermelon increase in size? Increase in size. Yes, very good, very good. How much? Yes, 3.5, 3.5 lakhs, okay. Do not just say 3.5, you should say 3.5 lakhs, right. 3.5 lakhs times it is going to increase, right. Yes, good job. So, we are stopping here with 5 questions. We will definitely do the MCQs and PYQs. So, students quickly, quickly make the decision. Join your batches for Avengers 3.0. It is going to get over in 2 days. Okay. Uh, 27th, 28th, 30th, the batch will again, uh, you know, the classes will start. So, that is why 27th, that is today, tomorrow and 29th. That is all. Okay. So, you, if you use my code, you are going to get it for a lot discount. Okay. I have already showed the video to all of you. So, it is at 4. Two now 4200 but when if you use my code you will get it for 3300 okay so quickly use my code join the batches make your decision right now make your decision wisely because you are going to compete with the best 20 lakh student and it is not not a joke it is not your cbse exam it is not 200 2000 20000 it is 20 lakhs okay so you have to be very very conscious okay thank you so much students yes thank you so much for joining we have completed this chapter tomorrow we will be starting human health and diseases common diseases in man okay we will be discussing all of it clear yes thank you so much okay excretion part 3 mostly tomorrow mostly tomorrow not today okay not today mostly tomorrow okay Yes, thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Quickly join the batches. Send me a screenshot if you want any help on the Telegram channel.